what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you the latest ps4 jailbreak which is for firmware 11.0 i'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your ps4 get it up and working um i did make a video actually stating that there is a jailbreak but i didn't go through to go and show how to do it because it did request or require you to download a virtual box and download linux and um i wasn't really going to go through and show it because there wasn't really that much you could really do apart from get a message but now it's a bit more better now um a bit more easier to do and it, it's just yeah a bit more better jailbreak than it was um because again it is still at very early stages um this could go through to being like a auto um, jailbreak when the console boots up um, personally I reckon it could um, this exploit could actually work when you're actually booting up the console and you send the payload over and jailbreak when the console booting up in a way you possibly could um, I've seen a couple of people actually doing it but um, I'll let you all to do that and play around with that if you want but let's just get in and show you how to do it shall we so um two things you're going to need is a usb and a, a internet cable so you can connect your ps4 to your pc i'm just going to show you how to do that real quick make sure the cables plugged in settings network set up an internet connection use a lan cable go custom Go to bottom one and just put anything in here, it doesn't really matter. Automatic, automatic, do not use. And don't test connection, just go back. And in the description, I am going to have this folder. If you are, I'm going to compact it so if you have WinRAR or 7zip, it'll be easy to, easy to go. So once you open it up, we've got Gold Hen here. So you will only be able to run Gold Hen for version 9.io because gold hen for the firmware no for firmware 11.0 is not out yet it is out but it's only for private it's private beta so i don't have access to that to show you um some people do but with gold well, gold hen should be released for that firmware probably in like the next couple of weeks or days or something like that um but Again, that is in private beta at the moment, so I won't be able to use it. But if you're on firmware 9.0, you'll be able to go through and load up Gold Hen with the exploit. Um, so with USB, if I just plug that in for your piece real quick. Uh, so if I just load that up there. And as you can see, if you're wanting to load up Gold Hen, obviously go click on Gold Hen, drag the payload into here, and you're pretty much ready to go. Just make sure your USB doesn't have nothing else on it, just a clean USB, straight onto like the main hard drive. Um, again, we're going to have some payloads here for 11. Uh, if you feel like running them, drag them over. If it does not work, rename it to payload. But... I'm pretty sure it does work with just the normal name instead of actually having payload in the name. But um, yeah, you can just play around with that if you want. So uh, let's put that USB into our PS4 because I am on firmware 9.0. If you have a PS4, do not update it. Never ever update your PS4 if you're in a jailbreaking scene because the lower the firmware, the more stuff you can basically do with your PS4 in a way. Um, so, yeah, so all this here, so read me first, make sure you got all this downloaded because um, you may have this in, installed uh, or you might not. Um, probably better off probably trying it first. So if we just load up this here, load up this here, and we've got the uh, the exploit righty so we can go through and click on here obviously we are wanting to click a stage two so 
go to exploit if you own 11.io go to stage and then go to whatever um, even if you own 9.io or whatever whatever you could still run it here but if you're wanting to run gold hen you obviously want to click this one right here um, because this will automatically or this would make make it load gold hen or make it load the the um the payload so yeah so we are gonna obviously select this one open that up as you can see we've got it selected here it should automatically select your network for your ps4 and we can go through and run it as you can see it's loading now we can can test the connection this does usually take about three attempts, two attempts, um, just with like every other exploit for the PS4. It does take, could take a couple of tries. Um, I've heard of this could be taking up to about 30 tries. I've heard someone say that, but yeah, I haven't really had many problems with it. It like pretty much, pretty much worked like straight away. Really, um, probably the most attempts I've actually had is probably five, but yeah. just keep it let it do its thing and if you do get any errors on here and as you can see it's actually done um, and you can see payload injected if you do get any errors saying you need to download something that's what you're wanting to download is these here so as you can see we got bin loader booting up just drag that over there and if we just go back you can see we've got gold hen loaded with the exploit um, again guys this is this exploit still at really early stages so I can see this exploit being like maybe I don't know on a raspberry Pi, a raspberry pie I mean um, like or maybe a, a like an automatic boot from like a USB or something something like that it, this, this exploit could change in so many ways um, in the in the future so like when you put up the console it loads up something or something you could do something but um yeah guys some of this homebrew right here may work um you obviously wanting to connect if you want to connect back to your internet obviously go self connection go land cable and just click easy and then automatic automatic or whatever you want to do and then you should be still be able to do it um with that auto update blocker And as you can see there, we won't be able to do it. So if I did actually have it connected to my internet, it would probably would stop the the updates because you do not want yes, you do not want your console to be updating. No, you never want to. But uh, yeah, some of these homebrew could work, um, but some probably need to be updated. But you can try that out for yourself, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much really it, guys. Um, if I did have a console, what was on firmware eleven? I would do the exploit on that just to show you that does work, but I don't have a console and I'm not updating my console in no way. Um, but yeah, if you all do the video, please leave a comment, leave a like, and I will update you on this exploit or jailbreak when it gets a bit better and more stuff comes out for it and all that like that. And um, yeah, what's and I mean, just wanted to say that my thoughts on it from the 9.0 jailbreak with the USB to this, which one's better. Um, I'm going to say that 9.0 jailbreak is probably still better than this, but again, this is still at early stages, so this could change and be easier in the future. But um, yeah, this is still really good, really good, good stuff for what we have in the scene at the moment. And let's keep it keep it going this way but um yeah i hope you all do the video and i'll catch you all in the next one peace